Hey there, Brandon Na here, host of Educate. I thought I would give you some instructions uh, via video format in case you were a little confused on how to access Anchor, um, or at least the web app Anchor, if the, the actual app within your iPhone and or your Android device may not be intuitive. So there's multiple ways that we as hosts of podcasts may invite you into a show and start recording. And so those are some of the things that we're going to cover here today. So basically, I did build out a blog post via text or rather, you know, the normal route of um, writing it out. And so you can actually visit my blog at brandonot.com and you will find literally the post there on explaining how to be an interviewee for any Anchor app podcast or any podcast that's hosted or using Anchor as their tool to record. Well, first off, there's multiple medium, uh, medium that is, or media that you can use, um, and we'll get to that here in a second. Um, but just to give you a little bit of a glimpse on our side as a host, what happens is that when we open up an app, um, we can also open it up on the desktop. But here is uh, just to explain, we might see, um, or rather we do see literally the opening screen that says invite friends to join. And so you as the guests were, are, are basically are our friends. And so when we click on that, we are given multiple options. And so we'll invite you, let's say if you do have the app, it'll be pretty simple, but you know, you probably don't need to watch this video and or read the instructions if you actually understand or have used Anchor. But let's say you get a link um, from a text message and that's the first option that Anchor provides us as hosts to send out to our guests. Another way is Twitter, another option is Facebook, and also a uh, copy link and, and all the other default options on your phone. Well, let's say, let's say that we, we send you out a link via text, and I'll get, that, get to those instructions here in a second. Why? Because um, one thing I want to just kind of highlight really quickly is that it's sometimes nice to have the Anchor app downloaded and installed into your phone. And so I say step zero because I'm thinking, you know, maybe this could be a, a step that you already take care of before literally the um, the recording of the show occurs. So this is an option, but you don't have to have it, um, even though, you know, I might say that it wouldn't be bad to have it. Because what happens is if you don't have the app on your phone, just like if you don't have certain um, app functions in your phone, what it does is just literally opens up a web app or it opens up a browser and... and brings in the interface or the tool um, as long as that company or that uh, web app uh, company is prepared. So let's say you don't have it. What happens is literally um, you, you click on the link and uh, frankly, um, it goes into that browser and then it opens up a different version. But anyway, let's uh, talk about the first step. So what happens is you get a, a text here. Um, on your phone, you'll see something like this. It says, you know, literally come join my recording on Anchor and you'll get a link. And then once you do, you click on that link. And then if you have the app already installed on your phone, it will show you um, literally that you're going to record with, you know, the host like me, Brandon. And then you can see the purple check mark or the check mark within the purple dot. Um, so if you just click on that, it will start recording. So do know it says join recording. Again, I say recording because it will start recording as soon as you click on that. So um, hopefully they won't uh, um, use anything that you don't want to uh, have, you know, publicly broadcasted. But uh, if you don't realize that, you know, just make sure you tell them that uh, you weren't ready. But hopefully after you watch this video or, or read my instructions, you'll realize um, it is literally live. Let's say, uh, um, you know, perhaps uh, you're using an Android device. Well, I'll tell you a little bit how to access it from there, but it's basically the same thing. The other main way that I think most people will receive invites is, is literally a link from perhaps an email. So let's say they, the host sends you an email and then you get the link in your inbox and you click on it. So this is where I, what, what I'm saying as far as you don't necessarily need the app, because once you do, what will happen is that link will open up into, let's say, a browser in your, your desktop or your laptop. And you'll see this basically screen where it says, you know, you have been invited to this recording. And then what it will do is it will give you options on which device that you can use as your microphone. And then again, you'll join the recording or you'll go straight live into what the other person is doing on the other end. So it will open that browser instance, and again, it, it will start the recording, so be ready once you do click on that. 
Now, I did want to, uh, you know, identify just before I finish this off uh, and explain literally the Android device being literally the same thing, uh, that there are other options, as you can see, that we had identified earlier, which is, which were rather, um, you know, Twitter or Facebook, because these guys at Anchor and Spotify are pretty savvy when it comes to social media, because they know that if perhaps you click on that, you will open up an instance of Twitter, and literally if you tweet it out and say, come join my reporting, the whole world or anybody who's following you will see it. And once they do, they will know that literally you're using the Anchor app. And uh, you know, while they might not necessarily uh, click on into it to, to actually join you on your show, hopefully they won't, um, you will potentially, um, and I say yours, let's say your interview, hopefully somebody won't click on it and actually join your interview instead of you, but uh, they will see the whole world, um, or the rather the whole world will see you. So that that is one medium. And again, it's just basically a link anyway. So you're clicking on it and then jumping straight into the podcast. And the same thing kind of applies to Facebook. What happens is, let's say they click on that to invite you. Ideally, they're going to send it to you directly and not necessarily uh, tell the world. But, you know, again, Anchor and Spotify are pretty smart. And so what they're doing is they're, they're telling the world that, you know, Anchor's being used to, you, you know, basically create this podcast. And so that's what's going to happen. But again, it's just the link. And so you click on that and a web app actually opens up. So that's basically it. And then lastly, like I said, let's say you have a Samsung S20, the brand new Samsung that's released recently. Um, it is a little bit of a different device in terms of smartphones, right? Because it's an Android, not, not an iPhone and not using iOS. And as a result, it will have a little bit of a different interface. Um, so frankly, you know, you might open up the app and it will look a little bit differently. But for the most part, it's all the same. It should open up literally uh, the app and or if you haven't installed that is or it will open up the browser that you have by default. So that's it. Uh, feel free to come to my blog post uh, at brandonod.com or reach out to me in all the other forms of social media. You can just search Brandon Odd anyway, and I'm happy to a answer any questions. But hopefully that video explained or showed how simple it is to use the various ways of accessing your um, interview if you're invited by someone who's hosting a podcast on Anchor. All right. Enjoy. Sorry, it was a little bit long, but uh, yeah, those are the different options for interviewing, clicking on the links from a host using the Anchor app.